Welcome back guys. As you can see, we have our door running on its runner. The runner came from our Volkswagen dealer, as you can see here. So I'm just gonna finish wrapping up these bolts here and we're gonna get cutting out the windows. We've been asked by a couple of our subscribers, what are we actually doing with this van? Well, to be honest, we don't actually know. We're making it up as we go along. I mean, I got the van very, very cheap, but as you can see, it does need a lot of work. Um, I have been thinking that we're gonna put windows here and on the far side, so it looks like a crew cab. So today's video is gonna be about getting this ready for the windows to be cut out and ready for paint. Hopefully by the end of this video, we will have this van and primer ready for its new coat of paint. First job is to mark out where we're actually gonna cut for the window to fit. So on these vans, as you can see here, you've got this panel. So we're gonna cut across here and across here, straight line. And that will allow us to remove this piece with our nibbler all around there. So let the fun begin. And there you have it, one hole cut out for the window. Now it's time to clear up these edges, make it a lot smoother for the rubber profile. One done, one to go, on to the next door. wasn't too bad. We now have both windows cut out. So it's very, very important in this stage, guys. If any of you're doing a DIY job like this, it is so important. Let me show you. It is very important that all these filings are removed. If you don't, you're gonna have a major rust issue within a couple of months. So on this build, we will be removing this panel to insulate behind it and also hoover up any filings that have missed us today. So let's get the hoover out. making massive progress on this budget build. We have both windows now cut, ready for paint. We have our sliding door on. We have our driver's door on as well. They were the two doors that were really damaged. If I could have got a back door, I would have, but they're like hen's teeth. We could not get one. So we're gonna have to repair that. So next stop, the paint shop. See you then.
As you can see guys, I've been very, very busy. We have all the dents pulled out of the van. As you can see here, there's still a little bit more there to come up. But by and large, it's nearly ready for a quota filler. Come over here and I'll show you this side, which I was working on. This side had a fairly big dent here. All this was pushed in. It's all brought back out again. We're just gonna start working our line and our filler with our trusted scribing tool, which is basically a pencil. It'll give us a straight edge, but that's for, for later on. So that's that panel done. This door here wasn't too bad. There's one or two small marks. Again, we'll get them fixed. One little mark here. As you can see, I have the door raised. The door height is perfect. We have the fuel cap and the panel below the fuel cap also got. We're just waiting for them to come into the main dealers. So let's go around to the next side. There was one or two small little things here, here and here. Again, they're all gone. The new door that we got wasn't exactly perfect. There was a little dent there and a little dent there. Now, some of you are thinking, wow, this is an awful lot of work for 2004 van. But believe me, when it's finished, it is going to look absolutely awesome. I have, well, I know we did say it was going to be a budget build, but with all the work that was going into it, we decided to do something special for the front. But again, check back in our next video where we'll reveal what we have done with the front. I'm sure some of you can guess, but let's just wait. Let's go! As you can see, we have our pencil line marked out here. So this is probably the hardest part of the whole job is getting this quarter panel right because you've got a flat edge where it meets a curve. And it's very important that they look right and not wobbly. So this is how I do it. One quarter panel almost ready for primer. So let's just see how good we are. What I've done now is I've just sprayed a guide coat. So the plan with the guide coat is that when I sand it off, if there's any little kind of inconsistencies in the panel that you will see it. So let's just give you an example where I know there's an inconsistency. There's one down here. So if I start rubbing here with my 120 grit sandpaper, very 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 quickly there's a little line there and that's a low spot so we're going to have to apply a little bit more filler onto that so i just want to do the full panel and just make sure that it's it's okay before we prime it so let's get back sanding
Now, that looks a lot better. We almost have our door repaired so that this lines up correctly. This happens quite a lot on the Volkswagen transporters. What actually happens is the door hinge here sags. And when it sags, the door falls down. And this is the point that catches on the wing. We have all the bodywork done on the van right now. We're going to get stuck into getting the, the new panels prepared for paint. First things first, red scotch, the complete panel. Then it's in for primer and then it's in for blue. No, it's not going to be blue. It's going to be a different color, but you're going to have to keep watching to find out. It's getting quite cold out. We're gonna wrap up for today. We have our van primed and prepped, ready for the, for the spray boot. We just need this paint to go off, and then these are going into the spray boot to get painted the new color. It's not blue. We've decided, we've gone this far, we've put on a new front on it. We have done the, did the body work to an exceptionally high standard. We've repaired the boot lid. We've it all done. I think it would be a shame to paint it the same color. So yeah. Tune back in, you are going to love the colour. Please give our channel a like and subscribe for new content, which hopefully will be coming very, very soon. Peace out, guys.